episode of Civil War Digital Digest. I'm Will. Today we're going to talk about one of the ration subjects. We're going to talk about coffee. Now that you see a lot of coffee here, we've actually got two examples put together. The coffee I'm going to show you today, how to make it, actually comes from an original recipe that was suggested for soldiers by a man by the name of Alexis Sawyer. Not a lot of people knew the name, but the government did. He was an Englishman who went to the Crimean War, and he and Florence Nightingale knew each other and were interested in improving soldiers' rations. Some of his recipes find in his way into the military handbook and soldiers' manual that was available for purchase from, from the Beatle Company, who also did the Beatles' dime novels. Alexis Sawyer's Coffee a la Zouave for a mess of 10 soldiers. It takes 10 pints of water or 8 pints of water and 2 of milk. We don't have milk today, so we're going to use the 10 of water. You ask me, how do I find a pint? Well, first off, a pint is two cups. And if you're going to do some of these recipes in the field, you might want to know that. So something you can do at home is figure out what your measure is ahead of time. I've got a cup that was made for me by Axel Allrich Tinsmith. This is based on an original out of Gettysburg. And measuring two cups, or one pint, I found goes to the ridge here on my cup, and I just know that. Do you have to be that precise in the field? The fellows back then sure weren't. If you want to be as precise to the recipes, you can do that. Uh, this cup's about a pint. You can fill it up. The, uh, the recipe says to put nine on to boil. So I filled this thing up nine times, put it there. We've got the tenth over here. The coffee needed is seven and a half ounces. This is what seven and a half ounces looks like. Uh, that's about five or six man's full ration for the day. So remember, that's about where you are. This is more an in-camp or in a temporary camp type situation. I've gone ahead and I've mixed and I've ground up some of it. If you've ever made coffee and tried to just boil the beans, you'll understand that doesn't work very well. So we're going to grind the beans up. How would you do that in the field? You don't have a coffee grinder. The coffee comes whole bean. What I've found to work really well is to use two metal surfaces to grind the coffee between. In this case, I'm going to take a mess pan or a plate and I'm going to take that uh, cup that I got and I'm just going to grind the coffee between making sure that the coffee doesn't jump out on me. And again, you can go fairly coarse on your grind, you can go fairly fine on your grind, it doesn't matter, that's totally your preference. Seven ounces whole bean, looks like this. Now when we have the full boil, the seven ounce, seven and a half ounces ground goes into the coffee. So we're going to put it on and then the recipe in the manual says to go ahead, mix it well. They suggest a wooden spoon, not having one. We're just going to take a stick and get it mixing here. And the instructions are let it go until it just boils. Uh, let leave it on the fire for a minute till it just starts to boil. So we're going to just wait here just a second. The coffee is in the pot. After that's done, we're going to pull it off and wait 10 minutes, and we'll get back with you back with you at this point. All right, so that's boiled for a minute. The next thing they recommend that you do is take the coffee off of the fire at this point. Again, remember I'm using a rag here to make sure that any hot metal doesn't burn me. That's not bad, but you just don't want to take chances. Nine pints were in here, it takes 10 pints of water. We'll pour that 10th pint of water. The instruction is to dump the cold water on top. And now we wait for 10 minutes. That's going to be of time for the drags to settle. When we come back, we're going to go ahead and decant this off into a different container, add sugar, and serve. We'll see you in 10 minutes. Well, we've waited the 10 minutes, and it's time now to finish up Coffee a la Zouave, as recommended by Sawyer in the Beetle Military Handbook and Soldier's Manual. So the next step we're going to do, we've poured the cup of cold water in. It's allowed most of the dregs to go to the bottom. The next recommendation is to decant. Remember, Sawyer's a chef. He wants the best quality food. That's what he went to Crimea for. That's what he and Florence Nightingale are co collaborating on. He recommends decanting. We're taking from the small mess pot and going into a mess pan. I'm going to again use something to keep my hand protected. And I'm going to go ahead and carefully decant. I want to keep as many of the beans out of this as I can. Some will go in, but that cold water should have run a lot of them down to the bottom. I'll even wait. 
actually at this point what we're going to do that stick that we used to stir i've kept close i'm going to go ahead and just use it almost as a strainer to limit a whole bunch more of what we have and we'll just continue to decanting using the stick that we've stirred with to help stop the beans from coming out if you look down in here it may be too dark to see but all the grounds all seven and a half ounces that we boiled are left here in the bottom. The dregs are there. Sugar. Sawyer suggests two teaspoons per pint. So I've got 20 teaspoons for the 10 pints of fluid now. We'll put it in. We'll mix it up. Also, if you remember from the beginning, one of the options was if you have milk, you can use two pints of milk and eight pints of water instead. If you were following this part of the recipe, don't put the milk in until now you add the milk now. But at this point, my comrades and I are ready for a nice cup of coffee. If you have a dipper in your messware, you can go ahead and use it. Chances are soldiers on the march, you'll be lucky to grab a mess kettle from one of the cooks and use it for a little while. 10 pints coffee a la Zuev by Sawyer from the Beetle Manual. For Civil War Digital Digest, I'm Will. If you like what you saw today, like the episode, subscribe to the channel. We look forward to seeing you again. Have a great day.